And, uh, I, you know, the first time, in, it was in early 1959, I did a session with Roy Orbison, a second session for me. We were doing a song called Uptown, and I wanted a string pad. So I called the meeting Kerr. The reason I called her was I knew that she had written a string arrangement for a commercial she had done for a department store downtown, Kane Sloan, with a string section, it was gorgeous. I called her and I said, I need a string section uh, for an Orbison date, I want you to do the arrangement. She said, uh, what? <laughs> and I told her again and she said, <laughs> Well, uh, I said, I know you did the Kane's Loan commercial. She said, yes, but that was way back when we had a symphony. And the symphony had fallen on hard times. Mm. And most of the players had left town. Hmm. She said, I just don't know. Nobody's doing anything with strings anymore here, ever. And I said, well, I want it. She can figure it out. So she called me in about an hour. <laughs> she said, well, I have found four violinists I think can play reasonably in tune. And that's all I can come up with. I said, well, all I need to do is a string pad. The support boots around off who's going to do the color fills. Uh, she said, I said, can you voice them far enough apart and it'll sound like more? And she said, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, uh, those were the days, you know, you just tried everything. I mean, I've tried yeah. echoes and stuff, combined echo chambers, used all kinds of different mics. I've used two mics, you know, one way overhead, one down here on a vocalist, just getting all kind of, just trying stuff, you know. Yeah, that's, that was the creative time. It was. It reminds yeah. me of uh, Buddy Harmon told me he used to bring in all kinds of different things to beat on just to get different yeah. sounds. Absolutely. Well, when we did uh, Candyman with Orbison, and we had done Crying for, for the third time. Yeah. Because I had to cut it three times to get it right. And uh, so it was strange for breaking down and leaving and we had uh, mixed, uh, we had uh, six background vocalists, three boys and three girls. So I, we had 20 minutes and I said, why don't we try Candyman? I said, well, we don't want it so clean. I mean, it's got to sound funky, you know. But he said, well, let's just pull the drums out here in the middle. <laughs> Which we did. So the strings left and the three guys in the background group left. And uh, it started and I said, no, 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 that's too clean. He said, I need some masking tape. <laughs> and somebody found him a roll and he taped his wallet to the head of the snare. <laughs> and he hit it and I said, don't change a thing. Yeah. Clever. Anything to find the right sound. That's right. That's right. Well,